I hope my frustration is clear that this legislature has handcuffed police. Um, there are families of every other student in that school and the, and the parents of the shooter who have a right to know why we all stand here today and why there's a person who has been shot in one of our schools. And we are not allowed to ask the person who committed that act because of this crazy legislature we have in this state. The Sheriff Gaylor is referring to the Child Interrogation Protection Act, which bars police and prosecutors from interviewing any child before they speak to an attorney. Supporters of the law say it ensures children have their constitutional right to an attorney. Fox 45 News has heard from dozens of prosecutors, law enforcement officials, and leaders who say the legislation does more harm than good. Fox 45's Jeff Abel joins us live to break down the growing concerns. Jeff? You know, prosecutors have long complained that this new law is standing in the way of justice, and today it hit Hartford County in a big way, where police say it put the brakes on a very urgent investigation. Just minutes after gunfire erupted at Joppa Town High School, the sheriff was fuming over the limits the law now places on his investigation. We have a person who we're going to be charging as an adult for committing a heinous crime in a school, and we're not allowed to talk to him. That is lunacy. The Child Interrogation Protection Act, passed by the legislature two years ago, bars police or prosecutors from interviewing juveniles without the consent of an attorney. Proponents insist it protects the constitutional rights of juveniles, but law enforcement calls it something else. With our criminal-friendly legislature here in Maryland, this is a 16-year-old suspect that we are now not allowed to talk to. Across the state, prosecutors have complained the law is standing in the way of justice. From Howard County... So yes, it is having an impact. Yes, it is a problem. ...to Prince George's County... It is becoming more and more difficult to hold juveniles accountable. Had the law been in place a decade ago, state's attorney Scott Schellenberger says it could have impacted the outcome of one of Baltimore County's most notorious crimes. So my question in the General Assembly was, what do you do with somebody like Nick Browning? He killed both of his parents. That means the gun we were looking for, uh, we, if we hadn't been able to interview him, we would have been still been out on the street um, and, and we would not have been able to proceed with how we found that gun. In Baltimore City, there are concerns the law has delayed justice in the Brooklyn Homes mass shooting. Even if the parent says, yes, we can talk to their son or daughter, a lawyer, and here lately it's the public defender, the public defender is saying, you can't talk to my client. What is happening with that is it stops uh, that juvenile from getting the services they need because you don't know what problem they actually have if you can't talk to them. Um, but it also stops the victims from getting justice. For now, the latest round of frustration lies in Harford County, where there are plenty of questions and so few answers. That this legislature has handcuffed police. Well, tonight, Harford County State's Attorney Allison Healy tells us it is a bad law and it is bad for public safety, saying she plans to support its repeal come next legislative session. We're live tonight. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.